Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your next 72-hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Gemini, you guys have been showing up really heavy, really big on the channel, so thank you. Thank you so much that um, everybody got four cards, but you got a fifth one, so there you are. Let's get into this, Gemini. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right. Um, so first card coming out is cannot maintain a relationship. Woo. Could be you, Gemini. Could be another person. Uh, we have a high priestess coming out. Maybe because you, the high priestess talks about the woman who lives alone. She's okay with it. She's wise. She's lived her life. She may be in the latter part of her life, maybe in the crone stage or coming out of the maiden phase. Um, you just not interested in, um, connection right now. You really would like to go it alone. You're okay with, you know, having your relationships outside of your home, outside of your heart space. Therefore, maintaining a relationship is not what you are into. It's not what you can do. It's not what you want to do right now. You also have some secret plans for yourself, what you want to do. You may have not shared them with your partner, um, but, you know, you just can't maintain the relationship. And maintenance is you can get the relationship, you can get in a relationship, but then you have to maintain it. You get a car, you have to get the oil changed, Jonah. You have to change the tires, check the tires, um, and so forth and so forth. And you're just not r really into doing the maintenance work. You're not into the checking in and the checking up. Um, you want to be carefree. You want things to be kind of, you know... Um, also, the high priestess talks about cyclical, hot and cold, off and, off and on. You you like that. You don't want it to be just one way all the time. Um, some of you, you're dealing with somebody who is late night creeping, or this is you. You know, you're dealing with some late night creeping, some sneaky link here. And it, it really is all about sex and the, um, the act of having sex, um, having fun, uh, intimacy. Uh, mystery somebody likes the creeping um there's a bible verse that goes what stolen waters are sweeter so somebody feels like it's it's more fun or it feels better or it's sweeter um to to be creeping to be getting away with something it wouldn't be as fun as if it was out in the open if everybody knew about it but it's fun to know that i'm creeping across town to go and do X, Y, and Z. You also could be dealing with somebody who's creeping on the down low, something of that nature too. Um, you got hook up on the weekend, yeah. So I don't know if you have a standing reservation, commitment with a particular person, but it makes you extremely happy with the Ten of Cups coming out. This person could have a family or they could already be in something. They could not be happy, but you make them happy or the relationship makes them happy. This hooking up on the weekend, this is what they live for. This is what you live for. You know, it's an ad adrenaline rush for somebody here. Um, then you have, I think you're nuts, okay? So somebody either thinks you're nuts, you're absolutely nuts, crazy, or um, you feel this way about someone else. You got the Ten of Swords coming out, and that is your energy. What that says to me is that you look at all these swords coming out of this person's everything, and it's definitely this one coming out of his mouth. You need to watch what you say. Um, sometimes people think that you're just not well by way of how you respond with your words. And we got another card that will kind of piggyback off of that. N not to say that you have to censor yourself, but just read the room. Know when you are being quote unquote watched or listened to very closely. If you have nothing relevant or um, maybe in line with what the group is thinking, group think, say nothing. It's just best to say nothing. Excuse yourself. It may, it might just be a circle that you don't need to be in. It's not about always upsetting the room or the circle, but sometimes it's just about removing yourself from that circle. These people don't resonate with me. I don't resonate with them. I'm out. I don't have to, you know, kind of have diarrhea of the tongue, of the mouth. I can just leave. Uh, I don't have to cut them down or, or shoot them down with my words. I can just leave. I don't, I don't, I don't need it. They don't need it either. All right. Um, because we then have, this is your fifth card. We have bad decisions. We got a, 
yes and then a no check mark um what is clarifying that is the magician and he rules language words um again some of you need to watch what you're saying some things are just bad to say because you know you're being listened to closely or watched it could be at work it could be in friend groups it could be in different circles you could be trying to do business with someone someone doesn't want to do business with you now because of your personal views about whatever keep it all pg keep it all g-rated um keep it all about business um if it's business don't bring in pleasure one thing i live by it's never both it's either business or pleasure it is never both many people have failed before us trying to make it both choose a side stay on that side you are a mutable energy so it's like you can kind of mutate to the energy but at the same time if it's feeling forced if it's feeling fake you're going to kind of say how you feel because you are a Gemini. Um, you rule communication. Also, sometimes saying stuff is just a bad idea. Bad, bad idea. Um, let that resonate with you if it does. Um, just to learn how to walk away. I do it all the time because I, I have a very sharp tongue if I want to go there. But I choose a lot of times not to go there. Just walk away. And I'm an intellectual, so I don't need to curse you to to read you. So, um yeah anyhow all links are below if you want to get your own personal reading i hope that it resonated with you gemini so thank you take care many blessings to you